tonight, and you'll never forget it, I promise you. <laughs> it will scar your head for life, I promise. Yep. Met him once, I've never been the same. <laughs> Put your hands together for the hilarious V. Raven the Gregory. Right? Yeah! Hold up a second, guys. Hey, man, thank you for coming out. Holy shit, this weather. What the fuck are we thinking, man? Oh, my goodness. Dude, I forgot about boob sweat. <laughs> Ladies, how do you deal with this shit? Every freaking year, man. I mean, aren't you guys mad at science they didn't figure out a way to stop this shit? What the hell, man? But weather regardless, I gotta admit, I am a native born Arizona. This is my home, this is where I lay my head, and I love Arizona. Most of the time, motherfuckers don't clap for that shit. But hey, man, let's unpack something real quick. I feel like this is a safe room. I feel like we can have this talk. Guys, don't you feel like we're kind of in an abusive relationship with Arizona? Like, seriously, man, this weather, I swear to God, every time I go out in the car, it's like a bad stepdad. Bitches trying to burn me and shit. They'll sit down and get burned. You know if your friend, you told your friend that, he'd be like, hey man, you need to leave that bitch. Yeah, I'll leave her, man. And like, every winter, it passes, and things start going really cool, and then summer comes around, and it's like a domestic violence case. They just beat the shit out of us all over again. She says she's gonna change, but she never does. Every single year. My God. And then we got sports, man. Sports are like, you ever dated a really hot woman? Just beautiful fucking woman. Like most beautiful woman you ever dated in your life. And you was just really hoping you was gonna get that pussy. You did everything right. You took it to the right restaurants. You ended up at the Super Bowl. And right when you think you was gonna get the pussy, here are your cardinals. <laughs> no pussy for you. Wait a minute, what about the sun? Uh-uh, no pussy for you over there. Every single time, man, it's fucking weird. Arizona, it's an abusive relationship. Then you got the racism. <laughs> I gotta admit, man, it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. It's really not. Hey, any of you have been to Alabama? Alabama is like the Kool Aid of racism. Whereas Arizona is more like Flav Aid. It's like kind of watered down. It's really not that fucking bad. But, uh, yep, a little bit about me. I am a single dad. My daughter's in the audience. Give her a round of applause. That's my baby girl. Raising four kids on my own. Their mother actually passed away 10 years ago. And, uh, you know, I get sad sometimes watching my kids grow, grow up without their mom. They get into stuff, and sometimes I look at them, and I'm like, man, my God. That sneaky bitch left me with this shit. What the fuck? God damn, she couldn't have taken one of them with her? I'm joking, I'm joking, I love my kids. It's a comedy show. But yeah, man, being a single dad, you deal with all types of crazy shit, like tampons. Ladies, if you ever made your man go to the store to get you tampons, you are a horrible person. What is wrong with you? You're just trying to embarrass us. You know you miserable as fuck with them cramps and shit. You just want to make us feel bad. Then I got to deal with the weed. My daughter is 16 years old. Of course, she's going to be curious about weed. I'm talking to my white friend. My white friend says, hey, man, when I buy weed, I got to keep it a secret from my kids. My kids can't know about it. I'm like, when I buy weed, I have to hide it and lock it up because I have a teenage daughter that I can't trust. Yeah, motherfucker, I know you took my weed. Wrong with you. I told you. Cut that shit out. I told you. <laughs> and then the sex. Oh my God. Ladies, if you had sex before you were 30, you're a horrible person. How dare you put your father through that 
that shit. God damn. But yeah, for real. Like, let me give you an example. For those of you who don't have daughters, this is what it feels like to imagine your daughter going out there and having a boyfriend. Now, imagine this would never happen. Imagine this would never happen. Imagine coming home and I'm fucking your mom. If you don't have a mom, condolences. Imagine I'm fucking your dad. <laughs> you don't want to imagine that shit. Y'all don't want to think about it. You don't want to fucking walk in, see me on top of your mom, just all flat, just flapping all over the place. Your dad is in the corner watching and shit, just enjoying the show. You don't want to imagine it. That's what I feel like every single time she brings her boyfriend to a show. And all I can think to myself is, man, that sneaky bitch left me with that shit. Sucks, sucks. But yeah, man, it's crazy. Uh, also, recently lost 200 pounds. Woo! Yes, give it to me, it makes me stronger! <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, I did not lose it using cocaine. But it was a part of the diet. It was a part of the diet. It was part of the diet. Um, for any of you out there trying to lose weight, there is a secret. I'm going to give you the secret to losing weight. Holy shit. Did you guys know the answer to losing weight is fucking edibles? I'm not even joking, man. You go to the gym and you do enough edibles, you forget how long you've been there. I went for an hour. I didn't leave until the next day. I was so fucking high. You know how you do sets? One, two, three, four, eight, seven, two, one. I just keep on going, man. I forget I'm fucking working out. It's wild. But uh, the real secret to losing weight is discipline. You just have to have discipline. You just gotta believe in yourself. Try to eat healthy. Maybe get your stomach cut out. Maybe start doing steroids. And also that cocaine. But make sure the cocaine is organic. You know, you gotta do it like the vegans. Oh, man. Also, guys, let's fix something with the universe right now. You guys are young. This won't apply to you because you guys don't look like you take a lot of pictures. Guys, you guys take pictures? We're gonna fix the fucking universe tonight. We are fixing the universe. Guys, from now on, when you guys take a picture, every single one of you, Put a banana in your pants. Even the white guys. Just don't put too big of a banana in your pants, otherwise they ain't gonna believe that shit. You know, man, women have been doing this shit for years. You seen the filter on these girls' phone? Dude, Kevin could put a filter on his phone and look like Kim Kardashian. No joke. Like, is that your girl? This a girl? You see them titties? Them titties ain't real. You see them naked, you know they don't stand like that. That is a bra, that is a lie. Wait a minute, is that a bra? I can't tell. Seriously. There you go, there you go. Like, look at that makeup. You know what I mean? Buddies had to die for her to look that beautiful. Seriously. Put a banana in your pants. You know how we look at women's titties and ass and shit? No. That's how they look at our dick prints. No. You know why I know this? No. Because I take pictures with banana in my pants. <laughs> and the black women love it. Because they don't realize I'm half white. <laughs> so another crazy thing. Uh, when you guys home, I'm going to tell you the craziest shit you've ever heard in your fucking life. When you guys leave here, true story, no lie. I don't know if anyone else knew this, but when you go home, go on the internet, and did you guys all know that there are pictures on the internet of baby Hitler? Dude, baby Hitler is fucking adorable. Oh my God, it's the cutest in the world. The mass murder of millions is adorable as fuck. 
And dude, I have a lot of Jewish friends. I'm conflicted, and I'm black. I didn't know if he knew this, but he was not a fan of the blacks. <laughs> but man, I told my friend about this, my Jewish friend, and he's like, I don't give a shit. If baby Hitler showed up on this stage right now, I'd take that microphone cord and I'd strangle him to stop the Holocaust from happening. And I was like, my God, you monster. Maybe y'all deserve that shit. The Holocaust. I can, act, hey, whoa, whoa, I can make that joke. I'm actually Jewish. At least that's what Kanye says. I don't know. I don't know if that's how it works. Um, God. So much crazy shit going on in the world today, man. I recently started taking testosterone. Can you believe I used to be a woman? What? I got the tits. It's kind of like a big clit, you know? But uh, yeah, man, it's so wild, man. I was going for a walk the other day, and I go up to the gas station to buy a pack of cigarettes. And there's a homeless lady sitting out front of the place, and she's like, could you spare us some change? I'm like, I don't got any spare change. Let me get my pack of cigarettes. I'll hook you up. Get a pack of cigarettes, give her some spare change. She looks at me and she says, thank you, sir. You know, I've been out here for five hours in the freezing cold, Arizona freezing cold. Who fucking knew? And she's like, no one has talked to me. No one has said anything to me in five hours. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. I was like, you know what? Here, take the whole pack of cigarettes. Take care of yourself, God bless. And I'm walking away and I look back and I see this look of gratitude in her eyes, this beautiful look of gratitude in her eyes. I get this warm, fuzzy feeling inside. And all I can think to myself is, man, I could probably fuck this bitch. <laughs> what? Homeless people deserve love? You just heard the other girl, what would Jesus do? Jesus would take care of that shit. It's fucking wild, man. Also learned some crazy life hacks in this world. You guys ever meet somebody that really pisses you off, just like gets under your skin, just like burns you up and shit? The next time something like that happens, uh, like say somebody cuts you off in traffic, stop, take a deep breath, and think to yourself, maybe they didn't see you. Maybe they're in a rush. Maybe they have a sick mother in the hospital they're trying to get to. Or maybe, maybe, they had a weird uncle growing up. You guys don't know the weird uncle? You haven't seen him in public, that weird guy? He's that guy you would never leave your kids alone with, but for some reason, motherfuckers keep leaving their kids alone with these people. You can't be mad at somebody cutting you off in traffic if you're like, oh, somebody probably touched little Timmy in the no-no place when he was little. He didn't go to therapy, they didn't do that shit. Good whites. You probably have that uh, friend that says something homophobic or racist. I know you have them because I have them. I know they're not keeping that shit secret from you. The kind of friend that you're like, God damn, who hurt you as a kid? Now you know. You had a racist, homophobic uncle. You were sticking things in the wrong place. Eh, you can't be fucking mad at your racist friend that fucking doing that shit. They shouldn't go to therapy. They didn't process it. Gotta get counseled. So, this is a cool looking crowd, man. You guys look beautiful. Seriously. Doesn't it feel good to get dressed up, go out in public? This is fucking nice, man. These compliments, man. These compliments are fucking addicted. Holy shit, these compliments got me doing all types of crazy shit. Any of y'all go hiking? You know what? I looked over there at you guys and I was like, I know they don't go hiking, but I just looked at you anyway. I was like, do you think he hikes? No, I don't think he hikes. Anyway, let's close in on a good joke. This is a diverse crowd. Let's all do a joke together. You guys feel like doing a joke together? Yeah. All right, guys. You guys all know this joke. Play along. Knock, knock. All right, guys. If we're going to close it out, let's close it out right. I need the energy. Roadhouse. Knock, knock. Who's there? Nigga. <laughs> Good job, Blanks. You passed the test. <laughs> I am so proud of you. Give yourself a round of applause. Oh my God. Every single
single one of them were like, mm -mm, mm -mm. I counted one, two, he might be Mexican, who knows? Just so you guys know, one of these days you are going to have a black friend. Everyone should have one. We're going to party, teach you how to roll weed. And that black friend is going to give you the pass. It's not a pass. We're saying it to see if you're an asshole. But if you didn't say it, you my nigga. I know white people like that shit. White people like that white niggas. We don't do it often. You get the reward today. You my niggas. But if you did say it, maybe you just had a weird uncle. I am Raymond Gregory. Give it up for your host.